Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a BMW with N20 or N26 engine guys. This is the 4 cylinder 2.0 engine. You need to remove the turbo diverter, replace it. You have a code related to uh, boost the leak actually guys. It could be because of that. Stay with us, we'll explain how to do that. There is one ball that is so hidden, so hard to get to, that I was almost to the point that I almost removed the whole turbocharger with the exhaust manifold. That's how mad I was at that bolt. But we found a trick that will teach you how to remove that bolt so we can actually replace that thing. Before we start, let me tell you guys a little bit about us. Let's say you need any parts, tools to fix your BMW, any model guys, check out the link in the description of the video below, that's where we get all our tools and supplies from and you can save quite a bit of money. Another thing, every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that guys? Because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you. Uh, now, that should work on multiple BMWs, such as that engine has been used on BMWs. Uh, 1 series, 3 series, 4 series, 5 series BMW. You can even find it on some 7 series BMWs. Also X1, uh, uh, X1, X3, X4 and uh, even some uh, X5 BMWs. Quite, quite popular engine guys. This is it, twin turbo, it says uh, twin power turbo, uh, but it's actually single turbo guys. Uh, BMW engine N20. So uh, now the diverter valve, guys, okay, is located. If you look right here, it's this one right there. It's on the turbocharger. What, what I have removed here, this is the intercooler pipe that will be right here. Uh, you practically don't need to remove it, but I needed just a little bit of room here. And I was about to the point, as I said, to go ahead and remove the turbocharger that's how pissed off i was at that thing but you don't have to do that now i have it removed so i can actually show you where things are a little bit this is the wire okay for the diverter right here that wire how it disconnected you just press down right here and you pull it out pretty simple now it has three bolts guys one here one on the bottom that are easy to get to relatively easy the bottom one is a little bit harder and you have one in the very corner on the right side now those bolts let us show you what they look like this is the bolt guys right here this is okay uh that uh, okay give me one second i'll drop the camera this is the bolt torx sturdy bolt uh the tools that we're using now guys okay those are you can see the torx tools the long ones i'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get them from you need a torx 30 okay let's show let uh, let's hold the bolt for a second the Torx 30 gets in really good, that's the one that you should use, especially for the left bolt, the one on the left side and the one underneath. The one on the right side, I cannot use Torx 30 because I need to come in a little bit of an angle because there is a, uh, the engine block is in the way. And when I come in an angle, it cannot get in the bolt, check it out, it just comes like that and skips. But if you get a Torx 27 one step smaller, okay, you can come in an angle, check it out and it gets in the boat and I can take the boat off pretty easily. So that's what I did, okay, with the third boat. So uh, Torx, okay, Torx 27, and I just came right here in an angle, okay, and I easily, okay, get to it, okay, that way. Okay, it's a little bit inconvenient, but that's how we do it, guys. Okay, let me just find okay where exactly the thing is let me get it in and we'll continue so i have it in now guys okay the two is there so i'm just removing the third ball now that i'm unscrewing uh, it's hard to show you on the camera because it's impossible to get it in there ah i almost dropped the two so i just have very little left now okay let me go ahead okay remove it all the way okay Yep, it's there. I'll try to remove it with the diverter. Careful not to drop it in the turbo if you remove any hoses or anything like that. I drop the bolt. I'll get it in a second. Okay. 
and oh no I didn't drop it right here I thought I dropped it right here guys you can see this is the bolt okay right here uh, we we removed it I didn't strip it even though I, w I went in an angle like that so you can see that's the diverter guys on a BMW N20 engine that has been using multiple models of BMW it has just the two wires here uh, if you notice that you have a code okay I, I will have a special video about the code uh, but I think it was like a leak boost uh, a bo a boost leak or something like that usually you notice it if you drive in eco mode or if you uh, drive the vehicle that shifts it lower rpms it happens if you drive it hard it doesn't it's very likely that you have a bad okay okay uh, diverter right here so that's how you guys okay remove it so that's how you guys remove the diverter valve okay and, uh, if you need to replace it on a bmw that's a part number i'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get it from for a really good price or you can get the aftermarket rebuild kit which actually improves the performance as well uh, you don't have uh, turbo lag so much as well this is uh, what i go with uh, it's not very expensive i'll put the link in the description of the video below but it's great it's uh, the car feels really responsive between shifting gears waiting at a traffic light it doesn't lose uh, boost so you're just ready to go almost all the time that's what i like about it hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you needing that on bmw n20 or n26 engine thank you for watching and see you guys next time